Today, I'm taking you on a journey to a place that is most close to my heart, a place that is both stunning and peaceful, where time flows at its own pace, away from modern hassle. I was born there. It has memories of my childhood and hides mischief of my teenage. I am taking you to my city, my Tacita de Plata, mi Cádiz. Just under two hours from Marbella lies this strip of land surrounded by water on either side. You might not be familiar with Cadiz, but in Spain it's extremely popular. It's where locals go for vacations, Columbus left for his American adventures from here a couple of times, and this is where the Constitution of Spain was signed. There is a lot to show in the old town, but before that, Let's quickly head to the new part of the city where I grew up. Cadiz is well known for its beautiful beaches. It's actually one of the best and cleanest beaches in all Europe. What makes Cadiz Beach is so unique is the golden sun. Look at the color of the sun. Right now it's midday and people are now starting to go to the beach to enjoy a full day with their friends and family. I asked a friend what made him move here from Northern Europe. He answered, light. The shades and hues you see here are so beautiful, unique and abundant. Now this is like God's canvas that you cannot not fall in love with. Stay tuned if you are a sunset fan like us. A beach in Cadiz was voted one of the top 10 sunset spots in the whole of Spain. Since Cadiz is west-facing on Atlantic, it gets a lot of winds, which makes it a perfect destination for surfers and windsurfers. We have done surfing a couple of times and really want to start doing it on a regular basis. On the opposite end of the beach, we have this beautiful bay area. It's fisherman's favorite because there are lots of fish gather here. Also, sometimes you see dolphins here you have the beautiful view of La Pepa Bridge. It was built to commemorate 200 years of Spanish constitution being signed here. It is the oldest continuously inhabited city in Western Europe, with history so rich that if walls could speak, Cadiz's story would be written in gold. Popular joke in Cadiz is that if you dig for construction, Anywhere you will hit ruins of some kind, from Phoenicians to Romans or the Moors. This is Puerta Tierra. It was originally built to defend and protect the old town, or Casco Antiguo, as we call it here in Cadiz. It also divides the old part of the city with the new part. Now this is popular all over the world for carnival. Some say it's the best carnival after Rio. Imagine these narrow streets buzzing with life with people dressed up in funny costumes and chirigotas entertaining crowds in each corner. This is an experience you should not miss. We'll put the link below to watch our carnival experience. Let's head back to historic town and we're going to head to a spot which made me fall in love with Cadiz. Out of all the places in Cadiz, this has to be my favorite one. It's a bit like my back home. Beautiful flowers, amazing parquet flooring, and look at the views around you. You can come here early in the morning, have a coffee or read a book with the birds. It's such a stunning place. This is Parque Genoves. This is the biggest park in the entire city. You can also say this is like a botanic park because there are plants from every country in the world and every continent.
Cadiz's claim to fame is the Spanish Constitution of 1812. It was actually signed here in Cadiz, and just behind me is the monument to honor that event. It's quite easy to get around Cadiz, being a strip of land. It's very walkable and bike friendly. Or you can take public passes for 35 cents if you buy a pass. Jerez Airport is the nearest and you can also use Sevilla or Gibraltar airports. They have a massive railway station. Trains from here go to Madrid under five hours, Sevilla in just about an hour, and also to Jerez, the nearest town, with your sherry needs. Right next to the station, they have the harbor. It's actually one of the busiest harbor in all of Spain. Cruise ships come here from all across the world. That's actually one of the most interesting ways to enter Cadiz and see the beautiful old town. This is Plaza San Juan de Dios. Just behind me, you see the city hall, and this is actually one of the first things you see if you come to Cadiz on a cruise ship. Cadiz is actually a city full of beautiful squares where everybody comes to socialize at any time of the day. Now I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite points in the town center, which is the Cathedral of Cadiz. Follow me. This is La Catedral de Cádiz, and this is my favorite monument in the entire city. Its color, the way it stands with all its glory, and you can see from every part of the city. The Cathedral Square is full of nice bars and restaurants, and you can see the vibe just behind me. Everybody having tapas, a drink with friends and family, and all the kids playing around having fun. As promised, I'm going to take you to the best sunset spot in Spain. In Cadiz, it goes right in the sea, painting the sky with beautiful colors, and it's fascinating to see it in different seasons with different hues. This is La Caleta Beach. It has the most beautiful sunset in the entire country of Spain. And it's one of the most popular, if not the most popular beach in the entire city of Cadiz. Cadiz got its riches when merchants from New World started docking their ships here after the river leading to Sevilla got blocked. The rich of town started building these watchtowers to spot ships in horizon. Today, there are 130 left, mostly private houses. One of them opened to public with a camera oscura and it's a must visit. This is Torre Tavira. It's one of the over a hundred towers in the town center. And this is the only public one and one of the highest in the town center of Cadiz. When you come here, you can enjoy the dark camera or camera oscura. And when you go in there, it's completely dark. And with the help of lights and mirror, you can actually explore the entire city from this tower. But I think, in my opinion, the best thing is when you come to the Mirador at the very top to admire 360 degree views of this wonderful city. People think that it's the only tower that one can visit. But wait, you can actually stay in one. Opposite Plaza Constitución, you'll find Hotel La Casa del Consul with its stunning boutique deco and spacious apartments.
Mercado Central in Cádiz. During the day, you can come here to buy your fresh fish, vegetables, meat, fruit, but in the evening, it gets full with people enjoying tapas and having a good time with their friends and family. Calle Ancha is full of bars, restaurants and ice cream shops for you to enjoy, especially in the summer months. At the end of Calle Ancha, you get to Plaza San Antonio, and this is one of the biggest squares in the entire city. It's especially important during Carnival, where they have a big stage here and everybody's dressed up having fun. We are going back to Paseo Maritimo. It has a completely different vibe at night. Yeah. People come out, they fill the promenade and enjoying themselves with little ice cream and just the beautiful walk by the beach. Look at the atmosphere, 11 o'clock at night. I mean, if this is not life, what is it? Others seem to have a pattern that whole town follows. They come down from apartments, spend the day on the beach, or after work come to the beach, have dinner around 9 and then queue up for ice creams. That is all you need in life. Work, beach, Mediterranean food, ice cream and a refreshing walk on the promenade. You don't need a car here or all the stresses of modern life. Live like it's the 90s, an active and a relaxing attitude towards life. I really hope you enjoy my city, my Cadiz, my Tacita de Plata. Do come here, you are guaranteed to have an amazing time.